Creative ideas were budding this term as pupils from FIX started to prepare a special magazine to commemorate the 40th anniversary of the Falklands War. The magazine, expected to be published in June, is being created by children from the hub, a class dedicated to supporting the learning of children with complex needs. Because it's the 40th anniversary this year, I definitely wanted to do something to, to do with the Falklands conflict. Um, and then when I brought that idea to Miss Whitehouse, um, she then suggested doing a magazine and it kind of just spiralled from there. <laughs> We've interviewed some people to get their first hand experiences of what life was like for them in the war. Um, we've. Uh, written com reports based on our research. We did some research on the internet, we've looked at books, we went to the museum. They researched different pictures um, and then they've decided which one they want to paint. We found pictures and then we were just like watercolour-like pencils and then we dipped the brush in the water and then we just went over it and it looked like we painted it. The best bit for me was probably like interviewing the people who experienced it. It was sad as well because, yeah, they just experienced it and... Mm. They've been very enthusiastic, even when it comes to the writing, which isn't usually the case. <laughs> um, but yeah, it, it's meant a lot to them because I've got them to speak to their parents, to... Um, to identify well, where were your parents or whoever was alive during the war um, and it's, it's made it more personal um, and they're all very interested in history. We talked to a guy called Brian who was a distant cousin of mine and he, and he told us that he was arrested and taken to East Fox Bay and held there for most of the time. It's a way to carry on the tradition of remembering the islands in a different way. It gives them a sense of, well, this is why I'm British, um, which is nice to see as well.